So I'm sorry if that upsets you. I really am. Nothing I can do. Hello. Is climate change a myth? And do you get fed up with some EV drivers banging on about how good their EV is? But did you know that some EV drivers are getting angry with some of the YouTube channels that are telling lies about owning an EV? Some feel that the facts are being distorted by YouTube channels who think they know what it's like to own an EV, even though they had never owned one themselves. I've never heard of an EV driver saying that they are saving the planet driving an electric vehicle. But I've heard many people who are anti-EV say that that's what we think we are doing. We're not. We're not as stupid as some people think. But EV owners do know that if you really want to save the planet, you walk or cycle. That's much better than driving any car. But driving an EV is a step in the right direction. But it's not the only solution, obviously. Much needs to be done by all of us. And if you don't believe in climate change, well, good luck with that. Hello, folks. My name is Nigel and thanks for joining me today. And I hope you can subscribe and like. It costs nothing. It's all very much appreciated. And uh, please leave a comment down below. So driving an EV reduces carbon emissions throughout the life of the EV. And the savings are even greater if you have solar energy. No, it's not saving the planet, but CO2 emissions are harmful and contribute to climate change, but also harmful to the lungs of us, especially those people with respiratory conditions that are daily breathing in excessive car fuel emissions. The anti-EV brigade often repeat myth that all electricity comes from coal, which is a lie in the UK, Europe and the USA. The growth of the UK's renewable energy and the world, uh, especially in wind power, is enormous. And you only have to check the National Grid Live website shows the daily, weekly and yearly percentages of renewable, mostly wind energy. So fossil fuels and nuclear energy. Many days, renewable energy is way more than 50%. And considering how much lower the wind energy percentage was 10 years ago, and it was almost nothing 20 years ago, and it's growing all the time. A lot comes from offshore, fortunately, as so many people in the UK hate wind turbines. So much, it's any wonder we have any on our land at all. Now, until recently, the last Tory government had banned any new wind turbine planning applications on the land, which fortunately has now been reversed by Labour. Climate change is a fact recognised by the world's scientific communities, but for many, it's been dreamed up by the government as a way of controlling us all. The government! <laughs> and on that subject, the Russians' long-term carbon strategy is that they would reach net zero by 2060. Yeah, 2060. But without any clear idea or roadmap of how to achieve that goal. And to be honest, anything with 35 years in advance really has no meaning whatsoever. Action needs to be taken now by all countries a lot sooner than later. But our own homegrown climate change deniers only know the real truth. Talking with their mates down the pub and on Facebook, they don't need to read anything on the subject or watch any documentaries explaining climate change, uh, facts uh, from scientists who have predicted and been proven right with the temperature rises throughout the planet and the extremes in the weather patterns we are now all experiencing. Is this ringing any bells? Even Republicans in the US accept it as fact and support the idea of planting a trillion trees on the planet so they can carry on as usual spewing out pollution as the trillion trees would neutralise their carbon emissions except it won't work and the whole idea is completely impractical. Yes, planting trees is a great idea but it's not the only solution and there are so many things that we could be doing and no single one is the answer. 
I thoroughly recommend watching Climate Change with Roly Williams. He's got heaps of information. He's extremely funny and it's well worth checking out. So give him a try. I've been driving for over 50 years and my Tesla EV is by far the best car I've ever owned or driven. Sorry, I said earlier, you get fed up with people saying that. But I'm saying it in case you're thinking of buying one or getting an EV. I'm not going back to gas or diesel. I've had 50 years and it's better. So sorry if that upsets you. I really am. Nothing I can do. It costs me a fraction of the price of diesel and electricity charging at home. I never go to those expensive public chargers owned by the oil companies. And we've been on some great road trips in our Tesla to the top of Scotland from the bottom of Cornwall half a dozen times, as well as from Santander in northern Spain down to the Algarve in Portugal. The superchargers are everywhere, extremely simple to use. You don't even have to show your credit card. You just reverse in and plug in and nothing could be simpler. And you can do that all over the UK and anywhere you like in Europe. And when I hear people saying they're nothing more than a glorified shopping trolley, they really have no idea what they are talking about. Did you notice I didn't say anything about saving the planet? It's a great car to drive the Tesla. And there are many other cars now as they get better and better, the electric vehicles. And of course, no one's telling you you can't drive your petrol or diesel. You can be driving them for a long, long time. If that's what you wish, it's entirely up to you. Now, if you look at the comments below, uh, you will see that the, not only this video, previous videos, that the majority of EV owners love their EVs and people who don't own one can tell you what's wrong with them now and also they can predict what's going to happen in the future with them which is a wonderful talent that they have anyway folks i do hope you can like and subscribe very much appreciated it costs nothing at all but also if you'd like to buy jen and me a coffee there is a link below and thanks to all of you who have bought me a coffee before i'll put your names up on the screen and also there is a link if you want £500 off a Tesla or $1,000 in the US. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.